All right, y'all. Welcome to Afroverse 54 right here on 97.9 The Beat, where we play local heat and Afro beats, and you know the vibe. So my man had a show in Dallas last night. Mind you, I'm going to just go ahead and tell you, we're recording this in the morning. It is 8 o'clock in the morning, just to put some things into perspective, okay? Um, first show of the North American Legs, supporting Boz on them. We, t- we only talk about real shit when we're fucked up tour. And I was like, Black, you're not leaving Dallas without me having this conversation with you. So I want to welcome my boy all the way from SA Blackie to the yes, show. Sir. What's good? Ooh. Ooh. What's going on? You good? Wow, I'm I'm wonderful. I uh, for a Monday morning, I'm great. Yeah. I'm great. Yeah, for I sure. uh, I was telling you, I was on my way home from dropping the kid off at school and watching your live, and that just gave me all the energy I needed. <laughs> uh, I mean, tell me a little bit about you know your fans and your yeah. devotion and your connection to your fans, because being up that early in the morning <laughs> talking after the show is crazy. Yeah. Like, talk to me about that. I mean, there's only a specific, like, time where it sort of overlaps, like, you know, the time zones here and there, and I have to make sure that they they know what I'm doing out here, even though, like, the plan is to sort of curate and and create, like, a fan base that's out here, too, but, like, you know, they're the ones that that got me to this point, so I have to make sure that they know what I'm I'm up to, how I'm feeling about whatever's going on, you know? So, yeah, man, I just, I speak to them a lot, even if it's not on a live, like, you know, just in general, like, DMs and stuff, I make sure that they know that, you know, thinking about them, yeah. That's a, you know, it's a, it's a very special thing to, to, to have that love at home, because, one of the things you'll see with a lot of artists is they feel as though they're not respected where they're from, you know what I mean? And so they have to go get that love somewhere else to only come back and be like, I told y'all, yeah. you know what I mean? But the same seems to be very opposite for you. I mean, you literally are the people's champ, dog, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, and so just to talk a little bit about, you know, why specifically in South Africa, like why it is and how it is, um, that you know, because there, there are a lot of artists, right? There are a lot of artists, but what do you think it is about you um, that is so captivating and that you know really, really connects to to your audience? I mean, maybe the first thing is is the fact that you know I care about whoever's listening to my to my stuff so much, but also you know I came up at a time that that was tough for the whole world. You know, came up during COVID, um, using you know free platforms, SoundCloud and whatever. And uh, yeah, I I feel like that just it created like a like a just a community that was like super ready to hear whatever I'm I'm, I'm gonna put out. So even when the the scene sort of shifted into into what it is now, you know, shout out to my and Kabza and, and Kabza and, and, and Tyler, you know and, Tyler I mean? <laughs> and I mean, should we go on about yeah, y'all out here yeah. running the charts, yo? <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, be like even when it shifted to that, like people were still willing to listen to what I'm trying to put out, you know. So started off with a lot of hip hop. I got into R and B. Also started doing a lot of Afro, you know. So I'm I'm happy that I'm able to like spread my wings in that way. Um, and then you know it also gives people something different because you know, I'm not I'm not doing just one just thing. Just one thing. You know? I was gonna say the one thing that I absolutely love, even yesterday as I was watching your show, is the fact that you know, especially right now, you know, talking about SA, everyone kind of there's this expectation for everybody to make you know a my piano or really have that sound or come out from that and i think that one thing that i try to explain to our audiences especially through this platform is look just because there's a sound doesn't necessarily mean that you know artists are pegged to that right for some people it is true for For some people that's their origin that's like their base that's what they're known for but you're, you're hearing you know people from all over the continent you know making that sound but for you you're like a consummate artist like you said yeah. you're rapping there's like the soul vibes this is the r&b vibes you're also very much a a performer you yeah. know what i mean um talk to me just a little bit about why you feel like that's important and and you know um how you use that to kind of just set yourself apart i feel like um i, I work i work a lot on on like the craft and like just the the way that i record and you know it's kind of being consistent and making sure that um, you know, anything I put out is fire. But then at the same time, it's about 
how much am I enjoying the process and how much am I enjoying giving the people what I have, you know? Mm-hmm. So if I had to focus on just one thing, I don't think I'd, I'd be totally, like, satisfied, you know? So, yeah, I just I just feel like the way I do it now is, like, enjoyable for me, but then at the same time, you know, it gives different sides of me and different angles. Some people don't like this. Some people like that. Some people like the whole thing, you know, so... It doesn't matter. So, some things ain't for everybody. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know, like, so you know? I, I feel like I, I'm, in a, I'm, in a, I'm in a good space in that way. Also, you know, no one expects, you know, what's coming next. And you're lucky having fun. I think more than anything, what I love about you is that you, you it comes across like you're having a really good time. You yeah. know what I mean? Except the person who was on your live this morning and you, <laughs> and you were telling them that they can only do one thing at a time because they can't be great because they got to focus. They probably going to look at you like, that ain't uh, what you told me earlier. But that's different though. He was talking about, he was talking about, talking about school, school. You yeah. know what I mean? So talk to me about that. Okay, so, you know, obviously you carried your education all the way, you know, um, um, to university. But, you know, at what point were you like, all right, you know, did you finish or, or was you like, you know what, this music it thing is, is... It was COVID. You know, I was, in my, I was in my third year. I was about to get the degree. I think I had like like a semester and a bit left. Uh-huh. And then, you know, COVID happened and then like the academic structure sort of, sort of not collapsed, but like took a break. Yeah. And it was like, okay, so we can take a break maybe for like... It was. They said twenty one days, and yeah. then it carried on and carried on. Twenty one days. Yeah. That was. That was. More, I know. <laughs> it was like we're just gonna shut down for temporarily, and then the world shut down forever, yeah. right? <laughs> so then that whole time, I was I was in studio, and I was waiting for like schools to open again, and then, you know, I just things happened so quickly. You know, I I ended up like shooting videos. I didn't used to shoot videos, but when I did, like it gave people like a visual representation and and sort of you know, got people to be more interested. So then anything else I put out after that was just like super just gained a lot of traction. Yeah. And then I was like, I mean, if this is where the money's Ain't no coming. Going back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Why are we going what are we going back for? You know, you know so, what I mean? And what were you studying? I was doing a, a Bachelor of Social Science and majoring in anthropology and psychology. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I can see the I can see the psychology this morning again. I was like thera- yeah. therapist blackie. A lot of people like, say uh, that. I don't see it though. You don't, don't see it? I don't feel like it helped me like in a way where people can like realize what I was doing, but I f- like you know in subtle ways. I, I guess. was gonna say I feel like I feel like, and that's the power of psychology is that sometimes it's not over, it's covert, right? Like, uh, so it's it's how you relate to people, but then also how people relate to you. You know what I mean? I get you. Uh, so that's dope. That's dope. Okay, so twenty twenty one. I'm gonna tell you when I first, I first uh, discovered you. You know, I go on different platforms i ain't gonna say which one because you know we're just we, we're gonna be agnostic right now but <laughs> i was on a platform and i was i hit shuffle on their playlist and at the time i was djing for the mavericks so i was in the arena and um obviously i used that platform to break a lot of different for um, sure i think I, I, got, I got like a few dms that that day or like a week after and I was yeah like, Yo, was that actually no you know? people you know what's crazy people always thought that like every time this would happen people were like oh no somebody just took a video and recorded the song like <laughs> over the video yeah it's like you know it's not I mean? real yeah. yeah and i was like no it's real <laughs> um but i remember why specifically because i had to edit yeah because i couldn't find a clean version but i was like yo Oh, you did it yourself? I did it myself. Shout out. Yeah, Shout yeah, out. yeah. But I remember listening to that, and I was like, yo, this is a crazy arena anthem, because, like, your energy yeah. was just, like, insane. You know what I mean? Um, But talk to me just a little bit about, you know, again, one of the things that I get from your space, like, when from your music is just the energy. You know what I mean? So how does that translate from in-studio to your performances? Because it's insane, you know? Yeah. I mean, I guess... I don't, I don't, I don't really put much like into it. Like when I'm in studio, since I've been doing it for so long, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, it it always shines through. But and then I have to translate it like onto stage. I sort of pick them a lot. Like just figure out like what they want to do. Especially after looking at the crowd and being like, okay, so how am I gonna, you know, give them what they need at this time, you Mm -hmm, know? mm -hmm. Um, But yeah. Shout out to Double D in the building too. Yeah, like, yeah, uh, you know what I mean? Double D, Double Jesus. <laughs> 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 Gotta yes, respect the DJ, man. Yes, Cause sir. like I definitely, you know, it's you can tell that um, you know, through your stage performances that, you know, you actually really do put a lot into the performance aspect, which is important because I think a lot of people think, you know, an artist just goes in the studio, lays down a track, you know what I mean? It's a hit, it's a vibe, it goes through posts, it's an engineer or whatever, but the, the magic is when you're able to take that product yeah. 
and bring and it alive. It. Yeah, For you sure. know, I'm seeing. And so with that being said, so look, you are on this tour now, obviously, alongside a collaborator, yeah. a friend, um, <laughs> you know, I'm sure a big brother of sorts with Boz. So, yeah. you know, just give us a little bit of insight about the cultivation of that relationship. It's been a long time coming. It's not been overnight, obviously, you For know. Sure. So talk to us about that. I think the first time Boz came to SA, he said was in, like, 2018, 2019, but, you know, obviously I, I wasn't in the space at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and he said that the first province he went to was Durban, and that's where I'm from. And then I think he, they they booked him a lot for, like, Rockin' the Daisies, which is, like, a big festival, festival. out there. Mm -hmm. um, and he's also super tight with Vaughn and the whole Stay Low team, which mm -hmm. is, um, you know, very pivotal part of just music in in. In, in SA, in, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like I guess when he when he pulled up to SA, I was like, "Yo, who's who's popping out here? What's going on?" And they're gonna tell him that you know they say, "Who the man?" It's the guy. And, uh, okay, it's okay. <laughs> you can say you can say the people spoke for me, and you yeah. know. <laughs> so yeah, I met with him. We had a few shows where we were booked together, also. And um, the song actually we didn't really do it in in studio. He was leaving, and I and I was arriving mm -hmm. in SA so then we're like yo just send it and then we'll figure it out and he liked it and he put on the album um, and yeah it was just like just me having a song with him and, and Ferg on the album was just crazy for me you know you super is a humbling record, yeah yeah it's a vibe it's crazy you know yeah last um, night it went it went up for sure it did I was gonna say when you <laughs> my favorite moment actually I'm gonna show it to you on my little phone I was like my little <laughs> video when um, you know it was also very cool how I was telling him how just the ambiance and the lighting and kind of how yeah. you coming out from like just like the shadows <laughs> and it's the same way like on the actual record when you slide into the song it's yeah. very like you know what I mean smooth. I'm a nerd for this stuff so no, you know it's very very smooth that's exciting and I'm excited for y'all to do that like you know across um, across the tour but I mean how how important I guess how would you say you know that you know obviously there's been this exchange of music between like Africa in the U.S. And a lot of it has happened through, you know, artists, um, collaborating, friendships, partnerships, mm. all of that. Um, how key would you say or how helpful has that been in expanding your fan base, right? Like what's the power of sharing, you know, fan bases between similar artists, you know mm. what I'm saying? I think collaboration in general is, you know, in, in all levels is important, you know, even just from base level just uh people not knowing you to people knowing you it depends on you know who you have around you mm -hmm. and who you collaborate with mm -hmm. um but also you know as i said before like the 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 sound that i'm going for the music i make is is super different and you know i listen to to buys i listen to the whole team people that were on stage and and you know i feel like they they also speak to they embody that, that of, same yeah, like that you know space I mean? right so i'm super yeah. lucky to have been on on this type of tour where yeah. people are not expecting to hear like one thing like they they ready to to hear different types of sounds they're yeah. ready to see different things also yeah. you know so yeah. yeah i feel like it's super important for me right now like yeah. this is the perfect time and for we me talked about doing. this yesterday a little bit at the game when you were like you know i'm very focused on cultivating the same following that i have a mask at home here, which I thought was really interesting. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, okay, obviously you have fans, obviously you have followers, but you're, you know, you're keen on touching new people. You're, you're keen on making sure, like, you know what I'm saying? You convey your sound and you meet people who haven't heard it before. So it's like, you know, what cities are you most excited about? Obviously, you've been you've been to the U.S. a time yeah. or two, and uh, you know, we talked about that being very focused on music studios and you in Atlanta with yeah. Damani and LA <laughs> with Wale and you know what I mean he's out here working but what are you where are you excited to go you know um, and, and why I think for sure those ones that you mentioned like yeah. LA Atlanta yeah um, I haven't been to New York before but apparently that's a go like the, the vibe there is pretty dope New York is dope um, but I mean the reasons for it I, I don't know it's not that crazy I guess it's just like you know what I've heard yeah. I haven't been out a lot every time I'm here it's just work just studio and that's what we were talking about that too how it's <laughs> like we you know I think the misconception of like touring is that you're literally on like vacation and you're sightseeing and you're yeah. 
on buses and like <laughs> meanwhile you're just eating in cars and venues and, yeah. and hotels it's like car it's venue true. hotel street baby you <laughs> know what i mean um i see you're 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 real big into your swag is crazy you know what i'm saying the fashion is crazy uh you know the the ice is crazy talk to me about this piece like the, yeah. the you know yeah, tell me tell me about what this means to you <laughs> and, and, and this this ice we got on your chest bro like yeah. super, what super oh, important piece talk to me uh I don't know. I like. I was when I, when we first came to Atlanta. I was like, "Yo, I need to go see. You know what's going on out there. You know, <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do much. I just want to see what's he going on. He said I ain't gonna do a little. I'm I gonna do a lot. I just want to see what's going on. Right. So I went there uh, after the South by in March last yeah, year. Yeah. You know, I think they invited me actually, and we just came to see what's going on. And then yeah. they were like, "Yo, you want to make a little little design? Oh, you want to try something?" <laughs> That's how they always get you. <laughs> yeah, right. For sure, I realized that after I was like, "Yo, those people actually they it's know a little trap." Yeah, right, right. But yeah, when I came back, I was like, "Okay, for sure, I need, I need to get it." Um, definitely for for hip hop. You know, I'm super deep in the culture, the mm -hmm. swag, like chains and just any sort of jewelry is is a, is a, a form of self expression. In the yeah, way. yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is a Yenayeto piece. So Yenayeto means the one and only, mm -hmm. which is you know what I call myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, out there it's also you know I'm the one and only black he one and only Subnyama so I did that one on one I yeah. love that so yeah it's a, it's a dope one you know I'm, I'm super you know proud of myself again to a point where I can do something like that yeah. not many get the opportunity and uh, yeah he said look, look at my wrist look at the fickle wrist nah no. I, I mess with that I mess with that <laughs> no listen when you come back next time you know after this so when Def Jam after Def Jam has cut all these checks, I'm just gonna be like, oh, Blackie, let's go. I'm about to be like, I need, I need my piece too. You know what I mean? No, <laughs> no but sure. with that being said, congratulations on um, your signing to Def Jam. And he was like, look, I said, I read the LOL, not Africa. I was crying. But, uh, <laughs> no disrespect because both sides is family. But we, it's important for us to make this distinction because sure. um, obviously there are a lot of labels that are you know um have subsidiaries yeah. like on the continent and that obviously is different distribution different channels but for you your deal is yeah. here so stay you tapped side in. you tapped in for real i don't oh, even yeah. know you oh, you're seeing that now. like i, I thought said, that was, it was a little small thing no it's not as in the <laughs> bro. like like i told you yesterday like you know tunji's great friend like i absolutely love what he's building there and i think i always say that because um, it's important to talk about leadership, right? Like, mm. he obviously has done a lot um, over at Sony and Wiz and David. Yeah. And, like, I mean, Mans is, like, goaded for what he was able to do in terms of, like, crafting careers of, you know, the Wiz kids. And, the, you know, that, that whole situation even now. with There are so many people who he has touched and blessed. But now Def Jam being home of hip-hop. Yeah. It's really cool to see, you know, with Nasty and, I mean, Stone Boy and, for I sure. mean, all of the acts that are now here you know what i mean going through these channels and then of course now you so like tell us a little bit about like your excitement um yeah. again just to be to be on a label that that brought us hip-hop dog it's crazy it's, i mean it's a long it's a long time coming you know there was there was a few there's a lot of back and forth really you know because coming up the way I came off like you always hear like different stories about like yo don't do that don't, don't do sign we can know? say that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah very very much you know, it wasn't like a quick thing to do. Mm. Me visiting here, like the first few times, I was I wasn't wasn't really in it like that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, as time goes on, you start to realize that th there's a ceiling. You know, especially in your hometown, and there's only a few ways that you can break that ceiling and and get to a point where, you know, you can do more than 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 what you have. And what already you can done. on your own and with your independent yeah. team. You know. So, yeah, we, we we made that decision, and now I'm here in Dallas. I'm so bad. I love that. I love that. I mean, of course, too, on a very pivotal year, celebrating the 50th anniversary of hip hop. So that was very, you know what I mean? Almost like yeah, yeah, a sign. You For know what sure. I mean about what the future is to come. You know, and I know we talked about that too. Like obviously, you um. I mean, listen, 2021 first project here, we are at 2024, the rise is like meteoric. But yeah. um, I think a lot of that, especially as I've gotten to know you, is because of the people you surround yourself with and, and the team that you have. So, sure. like, you know, give me just a little bit of insight about, you know, who you have around you and, you know, how and why they've been really influential into, I mean, because like, again, from the music to the visuals to yeah. like, you know, 
to everybody. Like, it's very strategic. It's yeah. very authentic, but it's obviously very consistent and very strategic, which is not an easy thing to do. You know what I mean? Mm. So, shout, so, so shout your team out a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Talk about the, the, the importance of, yeah, yeah. The full yeah. team. I mean, I'm blessed enough to still have them right now, even after the, the whole signing thing. Um, but most important person is probably Nandi Nandi Mwepul she's the the lady that that sort of discovered me in a mm. way when I when I first came to to Joburg mm. um yeah super important like she she believed in everything I was doing still believes in everything I'm doing um she's the one of the contacts you know because she I think she she spent a lot of time in Canada spent mm. a lot of time here in America too mm. different you know territory so yeah, that's just a short story about her. Oh, and yeah, then yeah. Uh, this Kim, my the PR the lady, the PR that she publicist, was to. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Double Jesus, my DJ. Yes, yeah, sir. Slash content yeah, guy. Respect, DJ. <laughs> Insert air horn here, like. <laughs> oh wait, it's the yeah drop, which is very fire, by the way. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, I need that. I'm about to figure out how to use that some way somehow. You sure. know. Yeah, Double Jesus. Then my older brother figure is my road manager. Did not know that. Yeah. That's lit. <laughs> that's wild. And okay. Then, yeah, that's basically the the team. Uh, yeah, that's the team. And then I have like um, my bookings guy, Mkiri, and then my best friend Leo that I'm, I'm always with. You know, we stay with them. We work together. And yeah, it's been like that since I don't even know from the from beginning. Very long time. That's yeah. lit. That's lit. I love. So again, okay. So back into the music. We're gonna get back into it. Like I did. Yeah. Yeah. So like, <laughs> we'll get back into yes, it. Sir. But you know, again, like on the music front, I'm really excited. You know, obviously, um, back into it is going crazy. You know what I mean? Um, I love the. Double Entendre plays like a very, you know, it's it's a fun song, you know what I mean? Um, and I definitely like like uh it's it's a big vibe. But what else you what do you I heard this morning you're talking about you out here to get features, you know what I'm saying? Also work on some new music, but um you've been busy in the studio, right? Yeah. Um what do we have to look for, you know, to musically uh in here Shroom? Um so I'm I'm working on a, a little a little project, you know. It's gonna be my the first one under the first one under the label, one thousand percent. So I gotta gotta make an impact. Gotta make gotta make it sound beautiful. Yeah. And then, yeah, I might do another one later. You know, a bigger one. Yeah. You know, just not to get so much. He's into like, detail. I ain't giving you no tea. I mean, <laughs> just know that I'm here and I'm here to work, and yeah. it's gonna be a vibe. But yeah, even even just being in studio the whole time. Um, you know, third quarter last year, I was just working on on, on just a lot of music. I was gonna say, what's on the hard drive, Blackie? Yeah, I've seen. Listen, yeah. all you do is you've just been in the studio, so that you go <laughs> listen. We're gonna talk about you know so, some of some some of what you got going on. Like you know, you sure. who are some of your favorite collaborators? I mean, musically from the production standpoint, you know, obviously you also have a crazy pen game, right? Which yeah. is which is <laughs> something that I don't know if it's talked about enough. Is because you know you also write, but like talk a little bit about your collaborative process, your mm. writing process, some of your favorite, you know what I mean, producers, things of that nature. So I think like my favorite type of producers are, are guys that that know you know what I'm about, but also bring like the, the a whole lot of their own flavor. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I worked with. Hollywood Cole, he was fire. Um, DB, this other guy, um, Sai Khalil, that did back into mm -hmm. it. Um, just yeah, a lot of a lot of Atlanta producers are like that's that's what that's where my heart is at. Yeah. You know, that's how I made some of the best music. But yeah. you know, a lot. Why do you think that is? Like, you, do you just feel? Does that feel homely know. to you? It you just know? feels it just feels dope. I think also just the way I was introduced to hip hop was through you know Atlanta. You know, I was gonna say, is there something in your past? Is yeah. there are there artists that are in your favorite musician repertoire that have roots in Atlanta? Yeah, like yeah. the whole the trap scene, like Migos, Rage, the Kid. You know, what I mean, just yeah. Thug, you know the whole that whole vibe that was free going thug, on. I have to say, free man. Jeff, bro. Free, <laughs> Jeff, free, free Jeff. Jeff, man. You know. So yeah, that, that's how I was introduced. So when I got there, mm. it was almost exactly like how I how I thought it would be. It would you be. know. So that was so yeah. that was a vibe. I guess like in other places, I didn't really have an idea. Yeah. Got there, still trying to figure, it, yeah. still trying to figure it out. Um, but yeah, that's that's really the process. Like producer that knows, you know, what's the vibe. Yeah has the vibe to himself and then yeah. you know i get there i don't really write much just sit in the booth and, and, and sort of figuring out. out yeah 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 yeah. it's been a vibe no i love that i think the one thing that i respect specifically and i will say this this is specifically well i mean i guess uh okay uh the one thing i like about artists from sa um is their ability to 
not only dabble in, like you said, different sounds, but find a way to bring the culture, whether it be through dance, whether it be through language, whether it be through whatever, into a project, right? Or into music. Like, why is that personal for you? Why? And, and you know, because I mean, it could be easy for you to just be like, all right, look, I'm from there. It's what I do. That's all you need to know. But yeah. there's elements, you know what I mean, um, to production and certain songs and even your vibe, like on stage and language that it's like, no, you're going to know like where I'm, <laughs> where I'm from and who I am. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I think it's because, it, like, it took a lot, you know, to get here, and it's yeah. always good to, like, give thanks to, um, you know, whoever got you here, whether it be the fans, whether it be, like, the ancestors or whatever you believe in, you know, it's always good to let it shine through on stage and in the music. So that's that's why I do it, you know. Um, also, just for anyone that's that's in the crowd or that's listening to it that's not from SA but then so, like maybe grew up there or whatever, yeah. they sort of get a feeling of home, and I, I get to give them that experience. Yeah. Yeah, bro, yeah, that's 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 what I do. It. Yeah, I love that. I feel like also just going back to home, man. You guys have had a a very tough couple of years in terms of losses, like in an industry, mm. you know, um, lost a, a few giants. You know what I mean? Like in in that space and mirror their souls. Like you know, um, definitely rest in peace. But again, like tell me just a little bit about like your influences, um, like from home, right? Because mm. obviously, um, I think that you you guys have always had a very booming. Um, Hip hop, rap, like you know, alternative scene. For sure. um, but just talk a little bit about who you know coming up, you know, um, from SA that you kind of um, looked up to, or that kind of set that path, you know. Mm. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Coming up in SA, around my time, it was it was mostly like the young guys, like Nasty and Aries, and um, there was this group called Witness the Funk from Durban, also that was super influential and in, like the type of sound I make. Um. But you know, I know that they're um, people that they were looking up to, you know, the mm-hmm. AKAs, the Rikis, mm-hmm. the Coolies, you know, mm-hmm. who are, you know, super pivotal in just bringing the vibe, you know. Yeah. Also, shout out to Les, you know. I was going like, to say, oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> Bringing yeah. just, like, the, 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 the real vibe to yeah. it, you know what I'm saying, the different swag, even though, I mean, they didn't have to do it in English, they could do it in Vanak too, Vanak, which was, yeah. you know, opened a lot of doors for anyone coming up that felt like they, they couldn't do it in, in English, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, but then also just, you know, the the way that they that they pioneered it, you know, they were also collaborative in, in their spirit also. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and it and it just it just it gave a whole new life to to hip hop, a whole new meaning to it. Um yeah, a lot of people speak about the 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 twenty sixteen. Yo, that was a what crazy. Was it, 2014, yo, like twenty fourteen and twenty sixteen. It was a crazy yeah, that was, run. Yeah, that was know? like a super important part of it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I, I feel like it, it was a dope foundation, and now you know a lot now, of hip hop artists flourishing. Yeah, I mean, it's time, time to take off. I love that, and I mean, gosh, I'm sitting here like, dang, Ivy, are you really getting that all that quick? Like, Tommy, <laughs> Tommy, moving fast. But I mean, look, there's this is a special year for you. I mean. You were born on the 24th, you know what I mean? It's 24, uh, 2024, <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's a Kobe year, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Kobe era, sure. so I just feel like I'm speaking that into your space, you know what I mean? Like, you just you just got different energy coming with for you right sure, now. But sure. speaking with that, like, what are who are some artists that, you know, and it can be from the continent or really all around the globe, um, that, that you're a big fan of now? Like, obviously... Uh, as a musician, people people forget that like you can also be you yeah. know, a fan. You can also be you know an appreciator of the of the art. So yeah. who got your ear right now? Um, definitely Rama. He's going crazy right now. Um, I listen to a lot of Party Next Door. I love um, you know I can I can see that I could definitely see that yeah. from uh, from uh, <laughs> and you know what you you and Party will go crazy. Bro, I really yo. need it. I need to make that one happen. I need to. You know what we when you in LA we might have to make some calls. Like I, I feel like I might know a person or two that you know what I mean. But I think sure. that would be that'll be a big that would be a dub. crazy one. Okay, okay. Um, I mean. Yeah, but I I don't I don't want to say that's pretty much it. But yeah. then yeah, that's 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 what I'm really listening to right now. Right now. And yeah. Really big fans of. But then yeah. Yeah. you know we get to we on TikTok and everyone else, so we know who else. We, is we know what's popping. <laughs> no, I I love that. I mean, but do you are you one of the art like? Cause I know some artists are like, look, especially right now, like you mentioned that you are very much in a creative space, right? Like you're recording, you're putting your work together. I know some artists are like when they're in that space. They're not necessarily Listening consuming, to it. yeah, 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 yeah. I for, feel you. yeah, for fe- not for fear, but you know, it's very easy to have that permeate into like what you're creating. Is that kind of how you? Is that is that true for you as well? 
Nah, I mean, as I said, like I don't, I don't really see the the the, the process of making the songs as as like super deep, mm. you know. Mm. I just, I can still, I can still listen to to whatever, yeah. you know what I mean. Especially now, cause I did most of my recording like last year, and then now I'm just touching up or making some new, you know, some small just make new it things, you know, tweaks just to, here and there, you know, yeah, just yeah, to yeah. figure it out. But yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't get. Into the zone to the point where I'm like, I don't want to listen to any of them. You locked in. Nobody bro. messed with you. <laughs> you trapped. You know what nah, I mean? Yeah, okay, nah. okay, okay. I love that. Okay, so now you pulled up on me yesterday to your very first NBA game ever, which yeah. was super lit. Fire. Tell me about your experience. How was that for you? That was crazy, bro. <laughs> Just landed, you know what I'm saying? Got a little court side. Yeah, <laughs> little 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 hospitality. Little something, you know what I mean? It was, it was crazy, bro, because I, I used to play a little bit, like, in, in, in high school, so, yeah. so that was dope to see it, you know, in person, you know what I'm saying? See all the stars. Um, yeah, it was crazy. Even the vibe of just, like, the, the crowd and, you know, it was yeah. at home also. Yeah, Unfortunately, yeah. lost, but, I was you know. Saying, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry we couldn't pull that off for you, dog. Like, I'm sorry we couldn't make, you know, the W happen, but, yeah, happy, but you know. Vibe. Especially being there with, you know, advising them, you yeah. know, they, you know, super important really in getting me out mm-hmm. here, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? They're mm-hmm. into that, too. So, yeah, it was, it was just still vibe, especially because after that, we went to rehearsal, yeah. and straight after that was the show. To so the it was show. just the whole experience, yeah. You landed, bro, 24 hours. The y'all last 24 hours been crazy. <laughs> that's that's wild. Been but bad. let's, you know, what do you think about just the importance of, of you know, sport and and it's, it's uh, how it ties into music, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, especially as both continue to boom on the continent. And I mean, obviously, we are avid fans of sports and music but yeah. talk to us a little bit about how maybe it's impacted you and your career like the intersection of both or how you kind of see it helping you know both sectors i think it goes very much hand in hand you know there's a, there's a lot of elements of just like sport especially like the what what do you call it call like the star power mm-hmm. you know what i mean and just mm-hmm. the, the the influence that that sports stars have on you know the average person mm-hmm. it 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 goes hand in hand with like music and yeah. how superstars in the music space have like a big influence in in the average person so you know seeing like different like crossovers also because you know it's, it's that fluid you know yeah. what i mean we got little crossover like you know on the court like 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 <laughs> <laughs> bars bars yes yes you got, yes, like, yes um sports stars sometimes they like make songs you know what i'm saying also music is like a super it's like a big thing for it's got outlet for them yes yeah, outlet for them and yeah. also when it's you know like a big tournament or whatever they need to have like a theme the song and stuff like yeah, that so yeah, yeah. i think it, it very much goes hand in hand i was telling double d that yo we need like basketball superstars in SA. we don't have any bro you know what's crazy so i don't know if we and we might this might have to be how we tap you in but the basketball africa league obviously is popping and yeah. the NBA essentially, a lot of people, people don't think about it this way, but actually really is the NBA on the continent is growing to that. And then there's a team that's based in SA now, the Cape Town Tigers, which... Um, oh, I think we went to watch them once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, I'm really excited about their future as well because, um, I mean, they. I remember, like, 2021. Actually, 2021 is when they popped on the scene, and now they've had, like, the documentary. They... Tour, Crazy. they traveled at Rucker, they played at Rucker, like shout out to their ownership like group who are really making moves. Um, but now the BAL is actually going to play, they're gonna play in, I wanna say, Joburg, if I'm not lying, if I'm not mistaken. So they're bringing it, it you oh, know, yeah, to, yeah, to the continent. So it's, it's so definitely like coming. A, like a like a this year thing. It's a this year thing, yeah. So this is the third season um, of, third season of the BAL, um, if not for third. And so obviously the goal is to continue to grow the league mm. on the continent for it to almost be not almost for it to be an yeah. NBA like on the continent. Yeah, we need to tap in for sure. I'll say less. So now I got two <laughs> things on my to do list for you. I was like, I was like, we got party and we got the BAL because I definitely think that, like you said, I think what you'll see is that when that continues to grow, like every year, for example, you know, like the NBA will have like a theme song, yeah, like whatever yeah, have yeah. you, and it's just more ways for you know for all of us to continue to you know use that platform and so, celebrate each other. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. That's dope. That's dope. So whenever you're on the road, dog, like road life is crazy. You was talking about how you've had Chipotle and In and Out. You know what? What? What do you love about touring? What do you don't love about touring? Actually, it's the first tour I've been on. I haven't been on on an actual tour. 
that is yeah, like a whole like, like this whole actual, back to back yeah. Nah, 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 yeah never been well congratulations yeah, to that though that's super time. you don't even give me that vibe you give me like <laughs> real i'm getting like i do this nah, i do this nah. i'm shooting I mean, this we, we you know we perform a lot at home but it's not, it's not the same like we can perform like maybe like three shows in a day or yeah. whatever yeah and then it's like you know a little break wait for the weekend again or wait for like a season that's you know like a, maybe like around Easter mm-hmm. or around the festive season mm-hmm. where it's like a mm-hmm. lot, mm-hmm. but definitely not like this where I'm like, you know, for your a whole first month full or international right, and you're yeah. on both legs, so you're on the you are on the US like are you doing the nah, Europe just a, legs I think well? it's just the North okay. American okay 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 yeah, that's the yeah. best that's the best so that's 23 cities yeah yeah oh, we just did the wild. first one okay so so I'm gonna rephrase my question now. so <laughs> what are you what granted we're one day in you know what I mean but yeah. what's been dope and what are you kind of like I don't know like this, this <laughs> might be a little tough moving forward you know definitely like the the fatigue you know I mean I, I know about it because I've been here before and I know about jet lag and like you know being a studio you all the travel, time you and, know your thing yeah you know? yeah yeah but yeah. I feel like it's different when you have to be on stage you know like he, cause you have to be on stage it's not like he can be like yo it's like, bro, I'm not doing I'm studio call, today yeah. you know let me just be I'm gonna postpone the show until <laughs> no, uh you have to do yeah, it yeah. it's different in that sense so maybe that could be like a little downside but then other than that like I'm just super excited to like see everyone Super excited to learn about performing out here because it's obviously going to be a whole lot different from yeah. back home. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just just testing out the songs, hearing the album live also because you know I don't, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Baz and you know the album. He did a listening session out in Joburg also, so you know I've, I've sort of grown with it. You yeah. know I've been a part of that process. Heard the from, song, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. heard the songs like Switch Around and stuff. So yeah. just to hear it live is also dope. Um, and to perform, you turn live also. Yeah, it's all, it's all just a dope time it's all for me. It's a process. I love, listen, I love I love where you are for you, right? I love your confidence. I love your poise. I love your, um, I guess you could say, like I said, you're having fun. I feel like when you stop having fun and when you start taking things a little too seriously, yeah. you don't, you're not relatable, you know what I mean? And I, I think that, you. so when I asked you earlier, I was like, you know, what makes you, what do you think is that, I I think I've cracked it, it's because, <laughs> it's because you're relatable, you know what I mean? People are able to see themselves in you because you show all these different sides of you, yeah. you know what I mean? And you, you know, and that's who you truly are, so that's dope. So I definitely am excited to continue to watch your eyes. You truly are. I think that, you know, you know a star when you see one, you know what I mean? <laughs> I think Boss said that last night, and I definitely, you know, you have an amazing personality, amazing energy, and Appreciate I'm it. so happy that you were able to stop by the show, you know what I mean, bless the show. Um, and, you know, you always have a home here. We're going to run the records. Anytime. We're going to support, you know, pull up. But also, you know, just talk a little bit about, like, your hopes for the future of music from Africa, because obviously Afroverse 54 is literally all about the, and you know, showcasing the the entire like the grand landscape of music from the continent but not yeah. only music but the creators from the continent so if you had you know some thoughts and wishes for for people coming up behind you what would that be your words of encouragement and wisdom i guess it it's, it would just be like to 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 open it up so that the there's there's more lanes you know what i mean because right now biggest lane is probably piano which is super great yeah, you know what i mean piano. probably wouldn't be able to do a lot of the stuff we do now without like them you know, sort of pushing the boundaries and making sure that, you know, the kids that are coming up in piano are able to travel early, learn about the business early, learn about production early and all that. Mm-hmm. So the same thing, but, you know, R&B, you know, hip hop, mm-hmm. um, Afro, you know, other genres that are coming from other continents or, I mean, other like, countries yeah, also yeah. in Africa. So, yeah, yeah I yeah. mean, that that that's it. Like, just pushing the boundaries and making sure that Everything is is heard. It's heard. You know? Yeah, and I always say, look, it's like just because we're African doesn't mean that we can't make any kind of music. So it's yeah. like you know, and we, and sometimes it's like we don't also have to. I'm really big on like, all right, at some point maybe we'll just drop the Afro prefix because it is just R and B. It yeah. is just trap. It yeah, is yeah, just for like, sure, for sure. So it is what it is. It just so happens that where I, where we come from, you know what I mean? That's where we come from, and we do it in a certain way, or we have certain things we say in it, or we use that as a way to, like, you know, move the language and this and that, but it really just is what it is, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, So that's sure. dope. Okay, okay, so how can the people get in touch with you on the digital, on the internet, which I don't believe is a real place, but it actually really is. <laughs> but, you know, you know, you're not, you're not on the net? 
I am heavy. Like, you know, I got, I, I am a, so. I, but you are, uh, you said you knew about the Nigeria essay thing. I do, no, I'll be on, I'll be on the internet on the cool. I yeah. just, <laughs> I just, I, so something, I don't, I don't know if y'all got in there by this time at the game yesterday, but I think I had like my second or third taste of going viral and people just tearing you apart with the contest yesterday where I hosted and the guy was doing like the little screaming thing. Um, it's called a Grito contest, but I hosted it. And like it went viral because I took the mic away from him, because um, you know, like the timeout has a time limit, right? <laughs> and so then this blog caught it. It went on, and I'm looking at the comments, and I'm laughing and I'm <laughs> crying because I'm just like, but you're not new to it. I mean, no, you be, you be, you be going viral. I know, but we 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 done this a couple <laughs> times and not now. But you know, you just get older, and you're like, dang, like this is really a place that could make you, but it can yeah. also break you. you know it's what I mean? crazy. It's I mean, crazy. well, let's talk about that real quick before you get up out of here, like. Like, obviously, the internet's been amazing for the the transmission of, like, music and fans. But, yeah. like, you know, are, are there any times where you're kind of like, oh, man, like, the social media thing is just, like, a little a lot? Uh, yeah, there are. There's, there's a lot of times, you know what I mean? Especially when, when, you, when you're growing in the industry, like, so, you know, it's more people, you know what I'm saying, more opinions. Um, more people agreeing with different opinions, so it's just like you just watch it. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it's dope to engage. Ah, I don't know. I don't like, I don't like engaging. I don't like like going back, going and, back forth. and forth. Yeah, but yeah. you know, I can look at it. You know, I be liking sometimes. You know, just to be like, okay, I, I feel what you're saying yeah. on Twitter. That's all I do. I just like repost. You know, all the good stuff people yeah. say and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. But. You know, it gets it, sometimes it, it gets there, but it's just consequences. You know, so a lot of us prayed and wished, you know, what I'm saying to be in this in this position. So you really so got to right. take, you take the go with take the, the go with the bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You asked for it, yeah. you got you know. So with that being said, how can people reach you on TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, or X, whatever we call it these yeah. days? I don't even know. But <laughs> all of it, all of it, all thread. Of it. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, Tumblr, yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. It's, B L X C K I E, so black key, but then the A is an X, you know, for the cool vibe, you know. I love it. So yeah, I that's love it. if you just search that wherever you, you'll find me. You find me. And if you don't, I, just go on the streaming platform, search that. I was gonna say better go yet. Go find the music. Go find the music, <laughs> and you really find you, you know. Blackie, yeah. thank you so much for pulling up to 979 the beat right here Appreciate on it. Afroverse 54. Make sure you catch my man's on the road with Boss right now touring North America. Go. Going crazy. Um, and look, looking forward to the music, looking forward to supporting you. Best of luck. We're going to see you back here real soon. For sure. With a whole lot more ice, too. So, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs>